What's going on guys? Just got to Yorkie's gym. This morning has been one long ass morning. Sorting out the True Beast Athletics launch. But yeah, it's all sorted, but I woke up late so I didn't get to eat properly. I just had to have a shake and then get over here. But me and P1 are about to hit shoulders, just warming up because it's cold outside. Winter months, guys, I'm telling you, warm up properly. You'll snap some shit if you don't take your time to warm up. So make sure you warm up properly, at least 10 minutes. So shoulder mobility, I'm very, very particular on what I do because I've had shoulder injuries in the past of doing things wrong. So I'll do those three exercises. So I'll do the lateral raises, followed by the front raises, followed by the rear raises, and I'll also do rotator cuff stuff. That for me, before I do like my warm-up sets on whatever exercise I'm doing first. So that ensures that for me that I've hit everything and everything's warm, blood is flowing in all the right places. You guys. This exercise, when, when I see people doing this, it's very minimal. I don't feel anything. Best way to do this, there. Because here, you're not working against anything. You're working against, you're not working against gravity, is what you want. As soon as you lean forward, you're now working against gravity. So now it's effective. If you really want to do the upright ones, cables. Get a cable, get it set to that height, and then that's when you'll be able to hit there, because then you've got the resistance coming. But if you want resistance with a dumbbell or something, there's no point in doing it standing up like that. All right guys, so as you know, if you watched my last video, if you haven't, I'm going to link it right here, somewhere. Oh, no. But I've just started my new program, the hybrid. Phase one of the hybrid is Deadstop 531. So again, using Wendler 531 principles, but for Deadstop exercises. So this exercise that you see me doing now is the seated pin shoulder press. So what this does is it takes any kind of momentum out of it from the seated position and also gets you to start from a dead stop position, which is exactly what we want for this phase. So warm up's done. Let's get down with the working sets. Baby, I like it, bro. Yeah, baby, I like it, bro. Get off. Now with this exercise as well, it's exactly the same as when you're doing the standing press, is to keep the, the glutes tight. So I'll use exactly the same keys as if I'm standing, but on seated, because you still don't want that overextension of your back. Still want it all from the shoulder, straight up and down. Pop the head through at the top. <laughs> so people keep asking me how do I get the, the big lateral head of the delt and a lot of people like to overcomplicate things and the, the science of it is this and the science of it is that and if you hit this 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 part of the muscle shut the fuck up it's simple shit if you haven't seen my video on how to lateral raise properly, I'm gonna link it right here. But all I do is two things. I won't grip it. 
I use my hands as like hooks and I hold the weights like that. And secondly, I lean forward a little bit and then I bring it to there. Not here, there. So it's twisting. It's twisting at the top. There. Twist at the top. As soon as you do that, look what it's hitting. There. Front. You lean forward a little bit and twist. What are you hitting? Lateral. Smash those out using. Obviously, you're not going to go be able to go as heavy as like you know. You see some people like doing like forties and they go. Like a fucking chicken. <laughs> <laughs> get a weight that you can bring it to there and don't go above that. People think getting a squeeze, you go above it, you, it's not. Just go to there, level, twist it, and you're good. There. That's what gives you the, the bolder shoulder look. Not really the front press stuff, so yeah. What you meant is that final form freezer look. <laughs> <laughs> The way that this machine set up is that it kind of arcs, so it allows me to kind of really squeeze the traps as opposed to like normal shrugs. The only problem I have with them is that they're very limited in kind of the movement, but your traps run all the way down your back as well. So essentially, you want to go up and then squeeze back as well. Which this little baby lets me do it. <laughs> You'll find that will help with your deadlift as well. In terms of keeping that strong there. You're coming up. Bang. There's no ground. Remember me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That was more RP8. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly out of the target zone of RP7, but it's okay. So it's okay. <laughs> this should just be a, a video on how to get bigger shoulders in general. <laughs> because if you want like bigger rear delts and lateral head, then go wider on the, uh, what's it called? Upright row. Because <laughs> then, you take the traps out of it. I didn't feel that on my traps at all. Just feel it's all on there and a little bit on the rear dots. Get that, get that bolder shoulder freezer look. Final tip is there's no need to go too high again. See the first thing that activates as soon as I go too high, traps. If I bring it here, there's no traps involved. You know what I'm saying? So it's not about overextending everything. There's no need for it, especially for shoulders. I'm benching. <laughs> Today is shoulders and upper chest day. So it's a push day again, but for each of my push days, I have different focus. Chest, it's always been a lagging thing, so I hit it um, in the first push session and then a little bit on this one. But the main focus today was shoulders. And I'm doing a pause reps, so real slow negative, pause and explode. Just to get a bit more of the contraction, you know, get it squeezed. <laughs> See when people go missing on like social media, it's like we were saying yesterday that you don't post for a week and it's like people think you've got like you've completely gone missing. Call all the hospitals, call him, he's injured. He's, he's got no clients man, he's not in the gym no more. <laughs> Things ain't going right for him man. <laughs> <laughs> he must have lost his job. <laughs> he, he's on the streets. <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man.
can't see me. <laughs> Alright, final exercise of this workout. Just, I was going to do cables. To be honest, can't be us. And this machine is sick. So I'm going to be doing it. Just to fuck us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Pick a weight that's good for you, that will engage the muscles. Stimulate those muscles, man. Yeah. Those fibers, man. Get the blood flowing. Get the flowing, man. <laughs> Pre the hand grip as well. So it is said in science that this grip will target the upper chest muscle. I'm not sure if this is true, but it's worth trying. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the twist. You add, add a little bit of a beat to it. <laughs> but it's more functional. It's, it's more functional, man. Like, this is too wrong. It's going against so your motor mechanics. When you do this, you want to twist. You got to twist. You want to twist. Get some obliques in it. It's going to be more functional, man. If it's not more functional, then it's not working, man. There's no point in working out if it's not functional. It's got to be functional. It's got to be functional. What's that, um, that, uh, Viper? Oh my lord, that boy, oh, hey, I forgot, I remember that first came out. And, yeah, 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 I remember in gyms, it's like, yeah, everyone's, and they're doing this. All, all this, yeah, all, all this twisting, like, for fuck's sake. Oh, 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 wait, wait, take, take this, take this, take this. I'm sure you've seen the one now. When they got the vibe on the floor, they're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Very well known fitness company in the UK that's been around for a while. A few day gyms have closed down, right? I went to one of their seminars, this is back in 2009. All the personal trainers within the company had to go to Loughborough. So he's in the auditorium, had some overweight guy with breasts trying to, try to tell me, huh? me, yeah, like, oh, oh look at this true beast. Trying to tell me how to get in shape. Saying, like, why wouldn't do a dumbbell press? Why don't you bring the dumbbell down and twist? Twist. So if you had a client now and they worked in Sainsbury's or something, that'd be very good because I can imagine that they'd be picking up boxes like this. You're gonna get a cornflakes from the top. <laughs> so if you can get them to practice this movement, they'll, they'll make their job easier. And that's what we need to do with the fire picking brother. Oh, shut up man. Shut up, man. <laughs> this is what I say. Invest yourself in a good personal trainer and then follow people on social media that know what they're doing, that they practice what they preach, because there's a lot of people out there that can say, do A, B, C, and D, but can they do A, B, and C, and D? That's real talk right there. That's the truth. See, with every exercise, I keep my shoulder blades pinned back, always. It's pretty much, I mean, I, I tend to say it more on like chest exercises and back exercises, but pretty much every single exercise that you do, it's essential that you keep shoulder blades retracted, apart from the deadlift, which, you know, that just, yeah, that's a different story. But, Especially chest up, retract the shoulder blades and you're squeezing from the chest. Squeezing from the chest. None of this. You call that nonsense. If, if your PT does that, sack him. Sack him. <laughs> sack him. <laughs> no, I think I'm done. That's it. So yeah, back home. You guys said you wanted to see more food stuff. So yeah. Pushes me to eat more because sometimes, some days, some days where I just don't feel like eating. The reason why that is is because he's too busy eating these. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's the reason why. Because a little while ago there was two of them over here. Now there's only two over here. There's nothing there. Uh, look at me. Oh shit. Oh. oh shit. Sorry. I didn't realize the camera was still on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to show you guys a bit more about kind of like the banter that we have in the gym and that type of thing, rather than it being, you know, 90% serious and then 10% jokes. For you guys to get to know me a bit better and how I act stupid all the time. But, <laughs> but yeah, we still get the job done. We still train hard, but yeah, we like to have a little bit of fun with it. So I hope you enjoyed that kind of like side of things. And as promised as well, I've seen the comments. I've seen all the comments and you guys would like to see more food stuff. I think this is gonna hold me accountable because sometimes I get home and I literally just don't feel like eating. You're gonna get those days. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, yesterday was one of those days. Like literally I just, I didn't want to eat. I just didn't feel like eating. And yeah, I should just cooked one of those, like some breaded chicken breasts and I've got some noodles left over from yesterday. 
So I'm gonna just throw that together. Ooh, baked potatoes. Mm. Maybe baked potatoes mm. with some tuna and cheese. Nah, nah. I'm gonna have <laughs> I'm gonna have the noodles. I have the baked potatoes later. <laughs> The other question I got asked and a question I know that's gonna come is, one is, do I meal prep? Not really. And what are the calories that I'm aiming for? No, I'm not tracking macros, so I most probably won't put like exact macros on there. Um, I might do one day where it just gives you a rough guideline of you know, what I'm eating and stuff, but I'm just eating, making sure I eat. As long as my strength goes up and I can see the, the scales go up alongside with the strength, I'm happy with it. Oh yeah, quick thing as well. True Beast Athletics line is the new items are now live so if you haven't seen it head over to the website check out the products see if you like them and buy one if you want to please all right so not gonna lie I've literally been designing a new tracksuit for flipping ages editing and designing stuff I forget to eat shit so I just had um don't judge me well, I'm gonna have a protein shake as well. Oh, I've got saurine loaves. I don't know about saurine. This is like literally my favorite. The salted caramel and walnut flavor. Chase is tasty as fuck. I'm gonna have that. I've got to go, I've got a few phone calls to make and then I've got a meeting with Mr. P1. I don't know whether or not she wants to have like a cheap bad food. That might go down. It might, maybe. Maybe a little bit, tiny bit. Don't know yet. Hmm. Alright, so a few of you have heard me mention this saurine and why why is it so great, Gabe? Why is it so great? That whole damn loaf is 500 calories. I would eat this and make some damn gains. This microphone is trying to sabotage my life. But yeah, meeting's done. Me and P1 getting a lot of ideas done. And guess what day? It's a Friday night. This is what? Nine o'clock. What would most people be doing on a Friday night at nine o'clock? Drinking. Yeah. But we're not doing that. We're planning, we're plotting, and we're strategizing, yeah? It's fish and chips time for me, I think. <laughs> So this is the last main meal I'm gonna be eating. I might get a couple snacks, so there's some crisps and stuff, but most of the time me and I show on Friday nights, especially we just like to order in, relax, Netflix and chill. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I'm gonna enjoy this burger and chips. OG subscribers, you know about me and my burger and chips. But yeah, hope you enjoyed um, this video. This video is probably gonna be a bit longer than normal. Let me know what you think of it. I'm always gonna try and spice things up and bring things differently. But if you like this specific type of video, I'll try and do a little bit more of it. So let me know. But don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one, I guess. Be true, live big, and stay swizzle, baby. Peace.